What's up guys, Rodrigo here. Today we're talking about some bench pressing. And in this video, I wanna talk about an issue that I've been having with my bench press. So it's a great thing that I've restarted my entire program. However, it sucks that I don't get to lift heavy weight, but sometimes you really have to focus on the form itself. So what I wanna talk about today that perhaps maybe you guys have an issue with too. If not, you can always give me some tips on it down in the comment section below. But what I'm talking about is the negative, also known as the eccentric or con excuse me, the concentric movement or part of the lift. So essentially I'm talking about the portion of when you're bringing the barbell down towards your chest. I used to have an issue or, or I still have the issue of bringing it down slowly for about two thirds of the downward movement. However, on that last bit or one third of the movement, I kind of lose tension in my back and my lats and I, it almost looks like I'm dropping it. But what happens is just that, I'm losing that tension from my back and I'm losing a lot of power. Uh, so the benefit of reducing the weight right now is really trying to work on that issue. I'm trying to do about a two to three second negative on the way down and during that time or during that portion of the lift, I'm trying my best to squeeze my back and load my lats because that is going to produce optimal output as far as power and speed. So yeah, that's it as far as my bench. After that, you know, we I finished it off with some, you know, uh, rows, dumbbell rows, pull-ups as you're looking at right now. I can see my bum. <laughs> and then I went to do some accessory dumbbell bench press on the incline. And then after that, I uh, finished off with a barbell overhead press, but I did not get to record it. I was in somewhat of a rush. I had to get to work right after the training session. Uh, so all in all, everything felt great. I just need to make sure that I'm properly loading my lats and back during the bench press. That way I'm faster off the chest and my lockout finishes and I don't get stuck there. So that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to like and share the video. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you all in the next video.